You know what? There are a lot of superstar thoroughbreds here on the track, but there is no bigger star than this guy right here. This is Harley. Harley, if you believe it or not, is a pony. Harley's big though. Monty is his owner. Oh, welcome to Great Day Live. Why, thank you. I'm you know, nice to be here let me today. let me step back and like take in the grandeur of Harley, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah. Harley is having a good time because I brought some mints. Harley is a pony, which is really funny. Every time I like say that, I start to giggle because he's just so big. So big, right? Yeah. For people that may not be familiar, what does a pony do here at the track? Well, we're we're considered uh, lead ponies, babysitters for the jockeys. Make sure the horses get to the gate calm. Mm -hmm. That's our job, and warm up properly without getting all worked up. Uh, a lead horse keeps them more calmer, and the jock has a chance to catch his breath and not have to struggle to keep one under control. What I love that's so special about Harley, other than you cannot miss Harley on the track, not Absolutely only the size, not. but just the unique spots that a lot of trainers will specifically seek Harley out because of his demeanor yes. to escort certain horses. Absolutely. He's been very well loved on the racetrack, uh, got a big Come here, base and uh, people on the sideline always bringing him stuff to eat, peppermints or carrots. That was the first thing you asked me today. Yeah, You're like, did you bring Harley any peppermints? And, I'm like, I got uh, you, I got you, baby. They call his name out all the time, so he's very well known. Yeah, I, not just well known here along the track, but I mean, we talk about a Briar doll, yes. <laughs> a fan base, a Briar social doll. media presence. Yes. What do you make of all that? Oh, he, I, I never, expected him to kick off like that right Hold you know I never expected him to kick off quite like that you yeah know? Uh, but it's really turned out great for him he loves the fans he loves he loves derby time right he just who does it he, he just swells up and he's excited and he loves his job and uh, he's, he's good at it and he's a pleasure to ride and I just you know I a lot of them but this is my favorite. No, oh, that's a favorite. Look yeah, at you. Absolutely. When when they said they were going to do a briar doll, which is is, is, is a big deal to big have deal. like a briar horse doll named after you. What did you think about that? I, I was shocked. Uh, absolutely. You know, I, that was something I wasn't ever expecting, but uh, it turned out great for him. And we've been to the briar fest about three different times. And they go this briar year. fest is like uh, uh, the, July. the July. July. Isn't it like the comic con of like horse doll festivals? Absolutely. horses of right all breeds. like of fans all breeds. are, are yeah. yeah they are all over sorry I'm moving around so much so can you tell us like who Harley is uh, has been working with this week oh he's been working with quite a few of them can uh, you tell us who uh, between you me and him? well it's uh, Savia Knight, the big horse for Brad Cox. Yeah. That's, his, that's the one I'll probably be taking because he can be a little rank. Yeah. And uh, a little more to control. I'm and, out of mints, baby. I'm uh, so sorry. He's been taking quite a few of them. Right. Ones. But he's been at Keeneland. I just brought him back from Keeneland. And uh -huh. I'm only riding him this morning because we don't have races today. He doesn't work double shift. Nobody well, wants who to wants double. to work a double shift? Absolutely. Monty, I love your story, too, because, I mean, you moved from Nebraska, moved all your ponies out here to set up shop, right? Yes. Like, what's life been like for you now? It's been great. Good. It's a, it was a great move for me. Uh, I'm not saying I love Nebraska. That's home base. Yeah. And my dad was a trainer in Nebraska there, and I grew up on the racetrack. And it was time to go and check it all out. And this is where I decided to make home was yeah. Louisville, Kentucky. And and talk about the embrace that, that Louisville has given you in oh, Kentucky. Absolutely. You know, it's mainly wonderful. because of this guy right here, right? Yeah, I mean, I've had some beautiful horses that I've rode with no bridle out here before mm -hmm. and stuff, but he's one of the special ones. I've had yeah. a lot of nice horses. Well, but he's probably tops them all. He does. He has a very chill demeanor, yeah. like very calm. Yep. And that must be what he brings to the table with, with the derby horses with the and the oaks horses, comfort, right? You know, Comforting. Uh, yeah. Calms them down. There's times I calming me I down. started him being as big as he is, he'd be uh, spooking them and yeah. stuff. But you know, it, it was the total opposite. Right. A lot, most of the horses, some of the rank ones, they, they the rank respect ones. him. And... <laughs> He's uh, not, you know, he's not an intimidator, but yeah. yes, they don't mess with him. They can't push him around. 
makes a big difference. Well, Moni, thank you so much for joining us. And Harley, thank you. I swear I'm going to get you more mints coming up. If you want to follow Harley and Moni, all you have to do is check them out here at Churchill Downs. They're also at Keeneland as well. And yeah. you heard he has quite a social media presence. Moni, thank you so much. You betcha. Much more That'd Great Day Live coming up after the break. I know, I got to get more mints, baby. Bye bye. <laughs>